Hello, it's Miss Johnson here. I'm going to show you how to carry out a translation by a vector. At key stage three, you could have described this translation by stating that it needed to move three units to the left and two units up. But with vector notation is a very quick way of writing the same thing without writing long words. So the first number in the vector is negative three, and that's the horizontal translation. So negative means three units to the left. The second number is the vertical translation, and that's positive, so that means two units up. If you want to know more about vectors, then just check my video, Vector Basics. So when we translate something, the of the image after it's been translated, the new shape, is, it looks exactly the same as the object. So they are congruent, meaning the shapes are exactly the same shape and the same size. And also it will be in the same orientation, so it won't have turned. And you can think about this as the same way that you would think of um, translating a language. If I um, moved my table to Spain, I would call it a mesa, but it would look exactly the same, even though it's moved. So I'm going to translate this shape by translating each vertex separately. This way, if I make a mistake when translating one of the vertices, it will be obvious when the shape uh, the new shape is connected up. So each vertex has to move negative three, two, or three units to the left and two units up. So negative three, two. And this vertex is the new A, so we call this A dash. B, negative three, two. B dash. And C, negative three, two, C dash. Now I'll join up the vertices of the triangle. And then check to see whether the new shape, the image, is exactly the same as the object, the original shape. And Look, I can tell that they're the same shape. This is three units high, and this is eight units, and this original one was eight units. So I know it's exactly the same shape as well. So um, if I had made a mistake on one of the vertices, the triangle would look very, um, different. And we're very good at, as humans at recognizing when something doesn't look quite right. So if you translate each vertex independently, then you can be fairly sure that you've done it correctly.